I was uh, I was born and raised in Eastern Kentucky, a little town called Grayson, and uh, had the opportunity to play football at East Carter High School. And then after that, was uh, had the very good fortune of going to Georgetown College and uh, winning a national championship there as a sophomore in 1991, getting to be the quarterback on that football team. And uh, that was that, that was a great experience for me. And after finishing up at Georgetown, I had the had another great opportunity to come here to Eastern and work for Coach Kidd and be the wide receiver coach here for the 95 and 96 seasons. Uh, what a great experience that was, getting to work with him, work for him, work with him, and I truly enjoyed that. It was a great experience for me as I found out for sure that I wanted to be a football coach. Well, we, t well, we take a punt fake and a and a field goal fake in almost every game. You know, just try to take advantage of an alignment that, that the opposing team may give us. The reason it worked was, was our kids executed. You know, there, there's several, there's plays all throughout the football game that are great plays that just aren't executed. And there's, there's bad plays too. There's no question about that, but uh, the, the right side of the line did a great job of blocking down and, and Hardman did a great job pulling and Marcus did a great job running, running to the end zone. So, you know, uh, we, I can't take a whole lot of credit for the execution because they did a great job there and Coach Hood made a great call in allowing us to do it. And, uh, it's something that we saw on film that we thought we had the opportunity to do if the, if the opportunity presented itself and it did. And, you know, just, just thank God that the opportunity was there and that the kids did execute it. I th we've been successful blocking kicks because our kids want to block kicks. I, it's, it's nothing magically that we've done, you know. Coach Johnson and I sit together during the week, every week, and look at and look at the team's field goal, uh, extra point teams, and we feel like there's certain spots that we can take advantage of. And also with the punt, you know, Coach Johnson, myself, Coach Fisher, and Coach Hatmaker meet and, and look at to see if there's there's ways that we can block a punt. But you know, and it goes back to the same thing on the fake field goal. Kids executed, and the kids wanted to do it. And Andrew Susi has a tremendous passion to block field goals. And you know, if, if kids don't want to do it, it's not going to get done. And the same thing with Justin Bale. Andrew's got five, and uh, Justin's got three uh, punt or field goal blocks. And so the kids want to do it, and they've taken a lot of pride in it. And every, whenever a kick is blocked, it's just not the person that has blocked the kick. You know, it's everybody because a lot of a lot of people's role on those is just to make sure that they get blocked so another person can come free. So our kids have have really bought into what we're trying to get accomplished, special teams wise here at Eastern. I just, just just working for him. Uh, I mean, what a what a legend he is. And you know, now that I've had a chance to be a head coach, uh, almost everything I did from practice organization to just running a program, you know, most of that was learned here working for Coach Kidd. You know, he was he he, he was fun to work for. He was fun to be around. And uh, you know, that's that's always a great thing, especially in this great state we live in, to to, to have Roy Kidd on your resume. And and uh, it it was awesome getting to work for him. Let's go!